This is Alin from Javelin playing with the new toys in SOLIDWORKS 2013. Today we will concentrate on the order of operations or pretty much the order of these features in the feature tree. In this example, the user wanted to be able to edit sketch number 5 while keeping sketch 35 visible for reference. Apparently, since sketch 5 is listed under sketch 35, that's that's a given. So if I did sketch 5, I would expect to see the other sketch. It's not the case, actually it disappears completely. This was a common problem in SOLIDWORKS 2012 and prior, just because once it was used in a feature, uh, the sketch has been moved right after the feature, so there was no indication when this was created. It, there was a possible solution even in SOLIDWORKS 2012. You could have moved the rollback bar between the feature and the sketch and that will free the sketch to go to its own place in the tree whenever th this was used and as you can see sketch 5 is way above sketch 35. Let me show you how this is done in SOLIDWORKS 2013 it's a much more elegant solution. I'm just gonna right click on the part name and under tree display I'm gonna change the tree view to a, sh to a flat view. This way each and every one of the entities in the tree is listed in the order of its creation. So as you can see, Sketch 5 has, be done, has been created before Sketch 35. Let me just move it after Sketch 35. And as you can see, now I can edit it. And I would have the other sketch as a reference available. When you finish with this, if you still like the old display, you can just go back to the 3 display and turn off the flat tree view. And that's it for today. One more example how SOLIDWORKS 2013 solves actual problems. <laughs>